They emerged from St George's Chapel as husband and wife. The new Duke and Duchess of Sussex were welcomed by a crowd of well-wishers inside the grounds of Windsor Castle. Earlier, the guests, including many well-known faces, had begun arriving. Then came Prince Harry, the last guest, as royal protocol dictates, the British Queen. Then the moment the crowds here had been waiting for, Meghan Markle. The former actress was accompanied in the chapel by Prince Charles. Her own father missed the ceremony because of health reasons. Dr. King was right. We must discover love. The service itself reflecting the couple's backgrounds. Stand by me, stand by me. Outside, the atmosphere had been building from the early hours. Many in the crowd celebrating the fact that Meghan Markle, who is mixed race and American, represents something of a departure from previous royal brides. It's so exciting and historic to have an American princess. We're so happy to be here. It's different how he married someone from a different country. It's just nice to just be here. You don't, you don't have to actually be inside to see anything. She's a confident, independent person. She inspires young people. I think she inspires different ethnicities and backgrounds, and it's fun to see that come into the royal family. With sunny skies, Fortune was smiling on the couple as they made their way through the streets of Windsor, the medieval castle providing a perfect backdrop. This has been dubbed a modern royal romance, which has roused global interest. Some, of course, will be indifferent to it or see it as a symbol of privilege and colonialism. Others will hope the so-called Meghan effect will be long-lasting. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera, in Windsor.